Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be introducing you to the set timer by function name node within Blueprints. This Blueprint node is essentially going to allow you to run your function on a timer. So for example, if you have a function where you're regenerating health or something, a instance where you're going to want to fire off a function every couple of seconds. This is the node that you'll be using for that. So you can have it add your health every 3 seconds, every 5 seconds, and the way it's all going to be controlled is by a loop and a custom timer. So you're going to be able to add in a float value telling the engine how often that function should be fired off. So let's just dive straight into Blueprints and show you exactly how it works. So for the purpose of this video, we are using the third person character Blueprint. Within here, all I've done is just found myself some empty space. What I'm going to do within here is use the set timer by function name. And then within this, we have a couple of options. So first thing first, you have got the object reference. Now this object reference is essentially just where the function is stored. Moving on from there, you have got the function name. So this is the name of the function which you're going to be running every so often, every certain amount of seconds, whatever you want to set that to. Moving on, you've got your time. This is going to be where you determine how often it should be fired off. And then lastly, we've just got a Boolean value, true or false, for whether or not it should loop this function. So let's go ahead and set this up and get it in use. So you guys can fire off this set timer by function name from any kind of blueprint node. Um, most cases you are probably going to be firing this off from a event begin play. So if you have got one what you can do is drag that node to the end of your begin play or directly into the begin play. It's entirely up to you. Object reference now, if your blueprint or your blueprint function is within the blueprint that you're working in already, you don't need to fill this out. However, if it's in something like blueprint ceiling light here, for example, if the function is contained within there, you need to make sure your object reference is set up. But for now, what I'm going to be doing is setting this up to none. Now, at the moment, we do not have a function to put in here. So what I'm going to do, like I've shown you in the previous videos, I'm going to create a function and we're just going to give this the name test. And then with this test, we are going to print a string. And in this, it's just going to say hello. Moving on from there, if we go back to our event graph, what I'm going to do now is just type in test. That is the name of my function. Now with this, you need to make sure it is spelt 100% correctly, otherwise it's not going to work. Beneath this, we have got our time, and this is essentially just going to allow you to determine how often this function should be played. That is if you're looping it anyway. In this case, what I'm going to be doing is having it played every single one second. And then at the bottom, we have got our looping. If you want it to play over and over and over and over again indefinitely, then set this to looping. If you don't, uncheck it and it's only going to play the once. But for now, we're just going to check this, hit compile, and what you'll be able to see is when you go ahead and press play and jump into the game, you can see in the top left hand corner, it should be printing that string. Now at the moment it's not doing that, and that's simply because we are not using the third person character blueprint, the blueprint that it's contained within, so it's not being fired off. So if you go to window and world settings, and then in here, if you set your game mode override to third person game mode, then hit play, you will notice in the top left hand corner, it is going to keep on saying hello in the top left. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding now of how we can use this node to fire off a function every single one second. What I'm also going to do is show you the alternative which a lot of new programmers end up doing. So what they end up doing most of the time is using an event tick followed by a delay of whatever duration it is and then writing their code or adding their function in there. 
Now that's not the most efficient way of doing it and the reason why is because that event tick is going to be triggered off every single frame but the action's only going to be fired off every second. Whereas this, it only fires off the action and it only fires off the event for this function essentially every one second, whereas this is every frame. So it's just one of those little things that's going to help you make your code a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer and more efficient. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.